the Philippines. More than 600 different kinds of birds can be found in this country. It ranks third in the world with the most number of endemic birds. It is likewise home to more than 200 wild birds that cannot be seen anywhere else in the world. Bird watchers and photographers from different walks of life and nationalities converge in the Philippines to take photos of these avian wonders. Alain is one photographer who endures long waits peering into its camera lens, long drives and arduous treks, steep climbs and small motorbikes, unpredictable weather, on foot under searing heat and the harsh sun, or drenched in cold mountain rain to see birds in the wild. For the unique sense of peace and fulfillment when stunning birds display their beauty and their wonders captured in photographs. Alain Del Bustamante Pascua has established himself as one of the best avian photographers in the Philippines. His photos have graced numerous publications, materials, and exhibits here and abroad. He has won various awards for his photos in both local and international competitions. In 2010, Alain started taking photos of the Philippine Eagle. This crown jewel of the Philippine biodiversity is one of the rarest and most powerful birds in the world. On top of the food chain, this eagle feeds on snakes, lemurs, rodents, rabbits, and monkeys. Its beaks and claws are strong enough to rip wide open its prey's carcass. Used to be called the monkey-eating eagle, this eagle is the Philippines' biggest winged animal, with a wingspan of about seven feet, a whole two-arm stretch of an adult Filipino. No wonder then, Pitikofaga Jeffery, or the Philippine Eagles, are the world's biggest eagles, standing at three feet or about a meter tall. The only bird of prey with blue-gray eyes, its head crests of brown and white feathers can be raised and lowered at will. To witness its majestic beauty up close in its natural habitat not only gives avid photographers the adrenaline rush, more than that, the experience gives them a sense of pride and nationalism reverberating in their hearts and minds. For them, photographing the king of birds is one duty and homage that can neither be dismissed nor ignored. The world's largest eagle, the Haring Ibon or King Bird, is monogamous. Once paired, a couple remains together for the rest of their lives. Should one die, the remaining eagle often searches for a new mate to replace the one lost. The couple stays in a nest of one to two meters, wide enough for a family of three. The male provides safety and food for the female and its young. The female lays only one to two eggs every 18 months. The incubation takes 60 days, where the couple takes turns sitting on the egg. At 22 to 24 months, the young eagle is forced to leave the nest to find its own territory of 7,000 to 13,000 hectares. It will start a life independent from its parents, find a partner, and protect its borders. Herein lies the challenge of the Philippine eagle. Inherently territorial, it keeps its borders exclusive for its family and fights fierce battles with any eagle that may enter or encroach into its borders. With the dwindling forested areas, the world is getting smaller and smaller for these eagles to find suitable habitat. The few eaglets that survive nature and man, those that find their independence are sometimes lost due to fierce territorial disputes. The Philippine eagle is also called the crown jewel of Philippine biodiversity, world's largest eagle, lord of the forest, air's noblest flyer, king of birds, Haring Ibon or Haribon. But sadly, it is also the most critically threatened bird species in the Philippines due to the loss of its natural habitat and hunting. No more than 400 pairs are left in the wild. In many ways, the circumstances of the Haribon depict the plight of the Filipino people. Marginalized, struggling, challenged by their surroundings and habitat. But it remains majestic. It continues to soar high, 
it behaves with regal integrity. In 2013, Alain and his group, the Wild Bird Photographers of the Philippines, or WBPP, discovered and documented a family of Philippine eagles living in the wild. At the foot of the highest peak in the Philippines, Mount Apo, their lenses discovered a Philippine eagle egg 10 days before it hatched. And for the first time, the life of a Philippine eagle's behavior in the wild was documented. These personal accounts of Alain, along with some of his WBPP colleagues and conservationists, are now featured in a coffee table book aptly titled Haring Ibon, The Great Philippine Eagle. This is the first time that this magnificent bird is given prominence in a whole book by way of more than 150 pictures showing the eagle's breeding biology, said Dr. Angel Alcala, a national scientist. Teresa Mundita Lim, Biodiversity Management Bureau Director, said, Today we continue to celebrate the life of the Philippine eagle, a rarity so vividly captured in the wonderful photographs of Mr. Alain Pasqua. His work is a testament to the exquisite beauty and uniqueness of the Philippines as one of the 17 mega-diverse countries of the world. With the Philippine Eagle as a superlative representation of such great biodiversity. National scientist and Ramon Magsaysay awardee, Dr. Angel Alcala, provided the foreword, while Director Mundita Sison Lim of the Biodiversity Management Bureau gave the introduction. This book is a special compilation of articles of their personal encounters with the great Philippine Eagle. It contains very stunning photographs of the King of Birds as captured in real life. The book will also take the reader to the life journey of a young eagle from the day it was hatched to day 152, when it was photographed flying away from its nest and even more than a year after. The book also features the Philippine eagles in Mount Kitanglad, Zamboanga Peninsula, Samar Island, and Central Luzon. This is the first book in history that is entirely dedicated to featuring the Philippines' national bird, the world's largest eagle. In the words of Jose Galvez, a veteran photographer, the book is also about one man's struggle and patience to document the elusive Philippine eagle. Joel Paredes, a veteran journalist and writer, said of Elaine's work, his photo documentation of the Great Philippine Eagle, or the Haring Ibon, would be cause for admiration and envy to many working photographers. The author of the book, Alain, has this to say. May the book serve to be a forerunner of other books, of not just the other vanishing birds of the country, but of all the vanishing and unique natural treasures of the Philippines. And, May it serve as a tool for greater people awareness and conservation initiatives so that the future generation may still witness the Philippine Eagle majestically soaring high in the wild.